difference. Before I went in, I was a little bit nervous um, just because you know, it's something I ha literally have been thinking about for 10 years when I first started to notice my hair thinning and the hairline receding. Um, it's been on my mind for that long. So I think when something's on your mind for that long, you do get a bit nervous. And I, to be honest, I was kind of more excited than nervous. Um, I went in on the day um, and they gave me some nice value me bits. So I was very calm and lovely. Um, and then they brought me into the harvesting room, it was called. And that is where they uh, took the hair follicles from the back of my head with this kind of device. And they harvested in total 1944 hair follicles altogether. They kind of put them in a little petri dish and that process um, was fine pain wise because they had numbed my head. Now I'm not going to lie, the numbing injections did hurt at the start, but as soon as the kind of numbing stuff got to work we went in for the the sewing kind of as it were for want of a better phrase um, and they basically planted all of the hair follicles at the front of my head and again that wasn't a sore process whatsoever because my head it felt kind of like I was wearing a helmet like my head was very heavy um, and I was kind of sitting up for that process and that again took about three to four hours but I had a tv in front of me with Netflix on it I watched The Witches by Roald Dahl, um, which is great. And then I had lunch, a really nice lunch break. Um, they give you a menu and you get to choose what you want for lunch, which is quite nice. I felt like I was in a four star hotel, to be honest. The whole team in there are so um, friendly and they put you at ease. Um, and there's so many of them as well, so you really feel looked after. It's not just one doctor or one nurse. There's like, there was about a hundred of them in the room. So he really felt like you were in good hands. So what makes HRBR special? We're the only clinic in the world that has JCI accreditation. We have a staff of seven doctors on our team. Uh, four of them are specialized surgeons. This is quite unique worldwide. We get patients from all over the world and people who want quality hair transplants come from all over the world to this clinic. Just, I was so shocked at how easy the whole process was. Um, and yeah, and then I finished up and I went home. Now, when I went home, that was tough because you have to spray your head every 20 minutes. I might be spraying my head through this video, by the way. Um, it's like miracle grow, just watering my head. But yeah, I, you get this bottle of solution and you have to spray your head every 20 minutes when you go home. So I basically didn't sleep for the whole night because you can't, like, physically can't. Diana, pss, pss, pss. come here to your bald mother. Come here. No pain at all. My head feels slightly numb. Um, but that's kind of it. And there's, uh, my head kind of itches now and again, which kind of drives me a bit mad. But if, if you have your spray bottle near and you spray like this, it, um, the itching goes away. So it's fine. I went in for my checkup yesterday and um, they bring you in literally a couple of days after you got the procedure done. And um, it's where it should be in the healing sense. So I'm on the right track. So I guess the, the big difference I've seen by going to somewhere like Istanbul versus um, the clinic in HRBR was when I went for the consultation in HRBR, they, they did not push me to go for any specific procedure. They told me the options. One of the options they were so happy with me going with was just going on the, on the shampoos they, they, um, they recommend or the pills, um, which are so much, obviously so much cheaper than getting a, a hair transplant. So that's what, I, that's what I really liked from them in the beginning. There was no pressure to go um, in any one direction. Whereas when I was in the clinics in Istanbul and they kind of almost, um, they're, they're way more sales focused than medically focused. Um, and they're out to get you to kind of spend as quickly as possible and agree to a surgery date. And um, yeah, they, they're, it's almost like they're on commission the way they talk to you. Um, whereas with, with BlackRock, it was just, you know, here are your options. You go away now after the consultation and you think about it and come back to us. Um, which is just really nice and reassuring. So my advice to patients is, Go to several clinics, 
try and look at ones that are led by doctors rather than businessmen. But if your gut feeling tells you there's something wrong here, then don't go back. There's a common expression that I use for every patient. Nobody's ever died from this condition. Nobody needs to medically treat it. And absolutely nobody needs a hair transplant. So when you go to visit a clinic, what you're really doing is, what are the options for me as somebody with hair loss? What can I do to help myself? If anyone was thinking about getting this done and wanted to go back to work, you can pretty much go back to work if you're okay with being open about it. And you know, with the FUE in, in HRBR, you do have to shave your head. That is, you know, you can't not. So that is one thing that, um, that people were wondering if you can if you can just shave a part of it or whatever. No, you have to shave the whole head. But I'm kind of into it. I think I look a little bit like Sinead O'Connor. People are saying nidge, um, but yeah. If you find that you're losing your hair and it becomes a concern to you, seek out a properly qualified medical clinic who will give you all the necessary advice. I'm not being negative, but please don't go to a commercial clinic where you're going to meet a salesman. They encourage you to get on the phone to them if you notice anything awry. Um, they're they're literally, you know, at the touch of a button. You can get you can get through to them no problem. Um, and they encourage that as well. They'd rather you your mind was at ease if you noticed anything weird. Um, so the contact has been great, and the aftercare, which again is key with something like this, um, has been like A+. Overall, it's just been way easier than I thought, but it's important if someone is, if someone is going to get this done, it's important to know that you're, while it's easier than you may have thought, you're also not in and out within the same day and you do have to give yourself a bit of time at home and to heal and get used to it and get used to the little itchy feelings and stuff like that. So I would allow yourself a week or so afterwards just to recuperate from it. And is this um, clinic like HOBR, are they the people to help me with my hair loss condition? It's not just about transplantation. We develop a long-term relationship with our patients. Our clinic is now open 15 years, and we still have the very first patient who attended 15 years ago is still attending for review uh, consultations on a regular basis. But also they have um, a brochure in HRB or with a payment plan. So while this is not something that is cheap, like let's be real, it's not. Um, it can cost anywhere from 10 grand to 20 grand. But they have um, a, a deal with the local credit union which you can do weekly payments of, you know, I'd seen one of them was just like 50 euro a week. So if it's something you, you really want to get done, there are payment plans you can explore. So. If you look in the mirror someday and you see your hairline is receding or somebody makes a comment about your hair loss, where, where do you go? Where do you start? So my advice is go on to Dr. Google. Um, if you put in hair loss treatments, you're going to get over 11 million uh, results. But very quickly, you'll know what sites are commercially orientated and what ones have a good medical background to them. Our website is designed as an educational tool. So if you go onto HRBR website, you'll get really, really good medical information and advice there. You can then call, make an appointment and see one of our doctors. But there's no obligation to do anything. All you're doing is exploring your options. However, if you ring up another clinic that's commercially driven and you have a salesman trying to persuade you to come in tomorrow to have a consult and by some chance he can do an operation two days later, well, that's perfectly obvious. You don't go there. I've gotten some mails from people, women as well. That's another important thing. Women get, um, you know, women suffer from hair loss too. So I've been speaking to some women who've gone to HRBR for, for transplants um, and they've said the same about the, um, th it's like they're not sales focused at all. They, they, they're you focused. So if you're like me and it's something you're self-conscious about or it's something you think will make you feel better, well go for it.